Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Nostalgia Total War series, where we take a look back at some of the older Total War games and see whether they stack up today. Now, we're continuing our Julii campaign in Rome Total War, the original, and last video we took Suggestica, we moved across the islands, um, and we slowly built up our nation. Sir! And we are going to continue doing that. We're going to try and move down past Salona down to Thermon. We're going to use the ships. And without further ado, I think we should get that going. How are we looking on buildings? Suggest is the only one, but... Okay, it's full. Uh, Carolus. Okay, you can... You can have barracks, but that's about it. And I think we'll take... This battle. I oh, know we can't. Okay, we'll take this battle after. Uh, after this turn. So let's end the turn and see where it goes. Pick the spy. Let's move the spy once again down to the uh, Thermon. So I'm hoping we can block off the bloody uh, Brutii here. If we come around and take Thermon, I don't think they will really know what to do. Top of that, Thermon there's a big army, so we might not want to do that. We might want to just sail all the way around to Sparta. I don't think the Brutai are going to be able to take it with just this army. So we could sail all the way around to Sparta and come up this way. It might be a safer option as well because you know if you take uh, if you take Thermon, you could have both Macedon and the Greece Greeks jumping on you. Uh, we will have to fight Macedon if we go this way though. Like directly straight away. I wonder whether. Okay, it looks like Athens is owned by Greece now. I was going to say, if they were rebels, that would be a pretty nice way of getting into there without having to fight. Uh, Amulius, we'll bring you on. Ships. So, how big is our army now? Nearly a full stack. We don't have much cavalry apart from our general bodyguards, though. And cavalry is just definitely the strongest weapon in this game so well, we do have a chance of a draw out battle here I just kind of want to see what it is like what At your service. Hmm. It's gonna take us two turns it's take us two turns we will probably be able to see them then straight away and in terms of buildings we need to do this battle but we'll just do a few buildings first um, aluminium so, Aretium, what do we want to build? We could build another ship, right? That'll allow us to build triremes, which we kind of really need. Public baths. Um, I mean, you're the capital. We need growth here. Yeah, I think we'll go for the farms. An extra half a percent. Half a percent of growth, which is pretty good. And uh, about 80 gold per turn. Not amazing. But it's something. Then we went for sewers everywhere else because we couldn't afford anything else. So I think we continue. Do, do any of these give like? I know the Scipio ones give bonuses to weapons and all that sort of stuff. No. So Ceres gives population growth, which I kind of don't really need. So Jupiter just looks like we're going to be making Jupiter everywhere because of the law. Um, Octavium. Let's get. Mm, yeah, we're getting quite poor doing all this building. Let's get roads in Suggestica. See how much that actually makes. Mm, that won't make anything, apparently. It's probably because we don't have a direct link. However, it sure. Yeah, well, let's get the. Uh, if that doesn't do anything, let's get the. Farming. And. Carolus, we can't afford to do anything again. So, how are you looking? I'm just hoping there's no, like, rebel navies around here. Because if there are, there's also this Greek navy. It's only one ship, though. Hmm. Can we afford to build a ship? No, we can't. Where do I diplomat? Okay, Manius, you can come down to Ariminium. Uh, now, if... We're going to enslave a settlement. We might actually Orders. want to just take you out for one second. Out of move, sir. Uh, Gaul. How about ceasefire? Ceasefire and trade rights and map information? I mean... Nope. 
that's fine. Um, who else do we want to? Maybe get trade rights from the Dacians, Your seeing honor. as we are next to them now. We are going to fight everyone eventually. Just getting trade rights, we can get some free money uh, early game. Okay, that's 15 and 26. I don't think we fight this, like, it's 20 to 1. I'm hoping it just gives us, like, no casualties. Okay, 8 casualties. That's fine. Victory! So we're not going to fight this every single battle. If a battle's rolling. that ridiculously, um, you know, in our favour, there's no point fighting it. Okay, we've enslaved them. Let's get rid of this Temple of Vilkar. Uh, corruption here is a large part of the uh, of the money of this uh, this whole region that it's losing out to. Breton, you expands Quintus. Can you build a peasant? Yeah, let's build a peasant, and we will have movement now. So, if we just put one guy in there, let's see. Yeah, so once that peasant's built, we should be fine. Now, where do we want to go with these guys? Do we want to go to Numidia? We could go to Carthage, however, they will have a strong army around that area. Well, Lily Biome. I could go to Lily Biome and start uh, and recruit a few more troops from there. Or Massilla. It's quite a good settlement. Or we could just start eating Numidia because they're not really. You know, they're not very strong. They have a rubbish roster of units. Hmm. I don't know. See what this. Oh, we don't care about what the Senate says. Uh, what's the Senate floor in terms of the people? Yeah, they're still just the same as the start. Or we could bring these guys across here to Kaidonia and Rhodes. I mean, the Temple of Rhodes, that's 40% naval trade, isn't it? So that's pretty strong. I should really help our money, but it's just such a long way away. I think we go after Numidia and then. Because these these towns or cities aren't actually that bad down here. These aye, aye, these two at the top. Move depleted, sir. So I think we go for we could go for that one, or we could go for this, this one. That's captain. kind of the end of the earth, though. If we go for this one. We could recruit some troops and go after Carthage if we're making enough money. So I think we do that. Yeah, bring yes, the troops captain. off there. Now, in terms of everything else, have we moved aye, our two captain. armies? Yep, yeah, brilliant. And building. Suggester, we can't build anymore. Carolus, we can't afford. Palmer, that's fine. And let's end the turn. Okay, Macedon, trade rights and math information. We'll take it. Seems like they're going to attack us soon then. They seem to like giving you trade rights and then attacking you straight after. Or like within, you know, the next 10 turns. Popularly to gain with the Senate and the masses. Let's see whether that actually did anything concrete. Oh, it did. So now they have a good opinion of my deeds, but some senators do wonder aloud whether or not our actions are motivated by a quest for personal glory rather than the greatness of Rome. And then the popularity among the plebs is not what it could be, but at least they do not throw stones or insults. Don't worry, the plebs will love us very soon. Like, absolutely love us. Let's so come down to the third one. I, th I think these guys are going to go after Dacia, which for me is excellent because... They're rubbish. They're rubbish settlements. Let's have a look at Palmer. Yeah, Palmer's good. Palmer's still good if you put it up to normal. However, do we want to grow here? I mean, growing here is just a money-making town anyway, so we might as well make as much money as we can from it right now. Set sail. All ashore. Orders I believe the town's up here. It's their capital. Sir. Looks just like a large town, which means we probably will be able to retrain the Hastati from here, hopefully. Do we buy them? I think we buy those two Nabidian cavalry. Like they're not great, but that missile attack of 10, you know, you can just soften up an en enemy general. Say there's two enemy generals in here. Okay, that doesn't look like there is. But say an enemy general comes, you know, they can soften them up, especially Carthage. Carthage's uh, generals are all right. Let's go back into our aluminium. And yeah, what about you? You can go here. Okay, there are are they Gauls? Two Gallic 
diplomats down here. Surely they want to sue for peace, otherwise why would they send them? Let's not attack them just yet. Um, we could smash these guys around and do a forced drawn out battle. I would like to see what they have. Hmm. See those two, those Namidian cavalry, we need our own cavalry ourselves to combat them. Which we currently don't have. So Carolus, we can build that. It's useless though. Um, Aruminium. You're nearly going to be upgrading. So let's give you better... How much does that give us? Better roads? It's 249 to 399. That's actually 150. That's pretty good. Uh, Patavium. Let's have a look. Probably, I was going to say population growth, but I think the market, that gives population growth. I think we'll take the market here. Mediolanium, and we'll probably take the market here as well. Gives us population growth and money. Suggestica's been uh, building. It's probably just Carolus then. Palmer, we can't build anything else, can we? No. So it's just Carolus. Fleet ready! Your honor. Uh, and we'll send these guys up to Dacia. So, looking quite good. Looking fine. Uh, we can't afford those Numidian cavs, so probably take it next turn if we can. Okay, Dacia's already come to us, so trade rights and map information. Oh, they spread about a bit. Now they've got this love of them. I think it's love of them. Greek cities. We don't want alliance. We'll take your trade rights, but we're going to attack you next turn, so... Okay, no. Okay, this is a good commander. Where are you going to go? Betrothed. So you're going to go to the capital. I'm okay with that because we might, as soon as we start making a bit more money, we're not making huge amounts of money just yet. We're going to build another army around the capital. So we'll take you, Ataretium. Marriage celebrations. Brilliant. Suggestica, we got land clearance. Take the mines. That was the only thing that built that turn. Mad. Most advanced factions, Egypt now. I assume rather than us. Actually, let's have a look. Ready to sail. Bring the spy through here first. At your service. On my way. On my Can't way. go there. Okay, they've moved their big army. How far can this one go? That can't reach us. Neither can that one. I can. So I think we have free yes, reign Captain. to take this settlement. Let's just organize the Imperator. troops. Imperator. Attack. Yep. We'll attack the neutral faction. Settlement, we don't sir. care. For the Romans, sea, obviously. We're going to be attacking Go all the neutrals. I, Let's go I, with Astarte next. Then we'll probably go with these guys. And then we'll go with the skirmishers last. I know the, uh, the green ones are, are skirmishers, but... Keep the boat here in case we need to retreat. And yeah, just fill that out with rams. We're not going to use them all, but we might as well fill them out with rams. Uh, and Quintus. Now, let's take these. Combat there. Numidian Cav. Now, what are you? You look just like javelin men. We send these slingers. Don't think we're going to have enough movement to do the draw out battle this turn though, so let's just siege it. They might think they're stronger and come and attack us, which would be good for us. Because then we could, you know, take it without having to do a siege. So it looks like it's just a general, which looks pretty similar to the Carthaginian generals, with lots of javelin men. So, good job we got those cavalry. And this one's probably just the same. Like Numidia's lineup of uh, troops is is awful. Like so bad. So like they could have given. I mean, they've got their they've got some legionaries, but they're not even as good as well. Obviously, not as good as the Roman ones. So pretty terrible. Um, our diplomat. Who are you? You're a Greek diplomat. You're Dacian. How about we go up to say? The race because we're going to be along, you know, we're going to have a border with them soon, so trade with them will be all right. Let's go on to Thrace, maybe Scythia, Macedon. We're still neutral with, and we do have a trade agreement with them. 
In terms of building, doesn't look like we have to do anything else. And money, we are not doing great on money. We could build, let's just build that. Fill out the building queue. So I think we might get attacked here. And I don't think we're going to get attacked here. They have this, have this army, which can reach us. But if they do attack us here, we're going to draw this these guys out. We've got three generals bodyguards. They've got two. It shouldn't be too bad unless they just bring this this full stack around. Even then, I'm hoping we'd be able to beat them. Okay, blockade put port Thermon. We can do that, but we're going to take Thermon this turn. So. Yeah, let's do the draw out battle. They've just got hoplites. This army is terrible. Like, we should be able to absolutely smash them. Uh, Senate officers assigned a deal. Lucius Julius. I sh think that's the guy that's in our capital, isn't it? Lucius, yeah. So he's getting a bit of influence. He's got quite a bit of management now, which is pretty good. Let's have a look at the city. So, Suggester. So our income, like Patavium is our best city. Some of these smaller ones are actually our best cities. Like, look, suggest the Palmer and Carolus. Probably just because they don't have much output in terms of like, they don't have much to spend money on right now. So they just make it like their armed forces and the salaries of generals and all that sort of stuff. Like they don't have much money to spend. Okay, these guys aren't willing to do a draw out but they're a rubbish army oh this is just gonna be annoying taking this I think we use I think we get these uh, javelin men and we use them as like to screen our troops our retinue so he's got a mercenary camp uh, captain which is actually quite a good retinue like our retinue here is really good plus 25% movement points is crazy good uh, plus one influence from the body slave not really you know 100% needed, but it's fine. Now, in terms of... Let's bring you out again. Just for this battle. So... Gotta make sure that I get this right. Gonna lift the siege. We're gonna fight this guy. Yeah. So, they've got an armoured hoplite, which is quite experienced. That armor's so brutal. I'm gonna try pick them apart with our skirmishes, though. And, you know, without the generals, though, these guys should be pretty ruined. Like, their general's better than us. This man is a tower of strength on the battlefield. He has, ex uh, he has the inspiring look of eagles about him. On a battlefield, this man inspires confidence in his soldiers. Sometimes the facade, the facade cracks, but not often. So we don't really need to worry about this army, apart from the general. This one, like the armoured hoplites, are pretty annoying. The rest of them are just normal hoplites, so we shouldn't have too much problem if we make sure we flank them properly. But, yeah, I'm worried that either the general or the militia cavalry will escape. So we need to destroy that army, bring them into the center, make sure they can't escape. And we'll listen to the general speech, because I don't think we fought the Greeks yet. Men, we face adversity. A band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. Over there stands the Greek army. They make a fine show and are worthy enemies. This army is fully one quarter of all our warriors. Imagine how we look to our enemies and take heart from that thought. Our people expect great things of us, and we are the men to do great things. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. We outnumber them comfortably, but that should not be seen as an excuse not to fight hard. Why let your brother carry your burden? Those people have never met us on a field of battle. After today, they will flee at the sound of our approach. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all! 
Interesting that he said they've been led here by strutting fools and mewling infants or whatever. Um, we take this high ground. I think we do. High ground's pretty strong in this game, so let's take it. Uh, Triori, you two, actually. I should have put you two both at the end. Come here. Archers and Triarii. Then the cavalry will all group together. The enemy have brought up more yeah, we'll men. Just march forward and then we'll march. Where are those men coming from? Hey, you know what? We'll take them out first. It's going to take these guys a while to get up to here. Just don't want them to uh, to run away too close to the line. So let's bring our men around this way and run them. I think we're going to just charge this general, really. Probably the militia cavalry as well. And how's this army looking down here? Yeah, interesting you said they're bringing them to the battle as muling infants and that, because the other general has a better general stat than us. Mm, we don't want our generals to take damage from this guy, so bring these guys around this way. They're just going to run away. Charge them from the side. Should smash quite a few of them. Yeah, that's the one of their generals dead. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. You just chase after those guys. And we need to get rid of them we don't yeah we need to kill 85% of them we do need to kill all of those guys uh, is that whole general unit just destroyed yeah I think so come on you get out you get out charge these guys right, we need to kill all of these guys um, oh looks like our barbarian cavalry is actually dying you guys here don't know whether we're going to be able to uh, chase after them. They're probably too quick. Glad to see enemy routing. Okay, you stop for a second. That's nice of you. Oh no, they're retreating. Shit! May God be praised. Shit! The enemy's hearts are full of they're fear. All running. Now they they're all running. Well, the least we can do is try and kill their general. You guys run down. You guys run down as well. Don't think we're going to be able to catch them. The cavalry will be able to do something. Now you're warmed up. Okay? You're not tired yet. I doubt we're going to be able to kill. Okay, that's the line here. Yeah, there's no chance we're going to be able to kill the general. But let's see what we can do. Whether we can charge a few of these units in the back. So as soon as that other general died, they they ran. Um, we killed a lot of the. Uh, the troops inside the city though so I just don't think it's 85% hmm. so I reckon they will still have a small amount of troops in the city so kind of a bit of a failure here but you know it's not going to make too much of a difference you come around this way sure you go after the pell tests but, uh, hopefully they turn around Yeah, we're hitting them from the side. Kill the bell tests. Now we just want to kind of delay them enough. They're wavering, come on. They should be running, surely. Yeah, there we are. Okay, now we've got our troops. Okay. You three. Oh, probably didn't mean to do that. Get out. It's the other one. Okay, it's there. You go after these guys. You two. How far away are we from the edge of this map? This side of the map. We are a long way, so. We should smash these guys. Okay, you guys. And then you three. Let's come 
um, try and pepper some of these guys. You can... this general... okay, that's the Hastati and this general. Okay, they're tiny, let's not worry about them now. Come up here. Okay, they're gonna... Tr okay, one of them's routing already just from the amount of troops. Probably... Come, 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 come. Up here, up here, away from them. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, so... You... You get rid of these guys. We've only got two more units for hoplites to worry about now. You can... Run after them. Don't want friendly fire, though. Mm. All of you guys... What about them? How far? Okay. These are the armoured hoplites. So these are the... Yeah, these are the strong guys. Bring all of you. Come. I mean, I think we just block them and use our archers and that to destroy them. How are we looking down here? Okay. Come and destroy these guys. So messy now, now that they've tried to run away. These are starting. We'll bring them up just in case we need them. I'm hoping we can destroy this unit completely. Once we do, we'll bring our other general's unit bodyguard up here. You, I don't want you to engage them yet. These guys have a lot of armor as well. 26. Like, look at that. 5 shield and 11 armor. It's crazy. 26. How's that compared to our guys? Like, you only have 16. Hastati have 14. Yeah, so it's a whole 12 more than our starting Hastati. Without any upgrades. Okay. You guys. Uh, the generals. The generals will bring them back up here. Okay, we just want these guys to fire. So, let's come here see whether we can fire them. Don't really want to charge them. I am gutted that that, uh, that they got away, that they just started running. Probably should have waited for them to be in the middle. These guys might break, these armoured half-lights might break just through. They're unhappy over taking casualties. If we can get... Where's the generals? Okay, the generals, the other generals close to them. They might have overwhelming number of like, enemies, which makes can make them break. Uh, in terms of starting, let's get up here. See whether, see whether we can't fire at them. I mean, probably could just charge these guys now. Don't want this first one to get out of the map, but we're not going to, I don't think. How are you looking? Yeah, the archers are going to have to do the running, uh, running gig. I think we'll charge them and hope that they... If they do... If they do turn around, we're just going to back our guys out. Yeah, they're not turning around, so we should break. Okay, continue. Just finish these guys off. You stop firing, Mr. Archer. And hopefully we can wipe this out. So, that's 82%. So, we're going to be so close to getting a full wipe, which is normally 85%. And we've only killed... We killed one. Did we only kill one general? What happened to the other general? Oh yeah, he escaped, so they, they will escape. That general will escape. You can fire this guy. Surely they're gonna hit him. This is yeah, there we are. Victory. Very nice. Actually, pretty... went... It started off terrible, but pretty, went pretty well. We lost 45, they lost 478, so we lost 10 times less than they did. Um, and the generals just inflicted a huge amount of damage. 123 from this guy. These barbarian cavalry mercenaries, they've actually uh, got 8 healed. So they'll come back to life, but not going to be too useful. They're a tiny unit, unless we can get another cavalry unit in there. Oh, so, didn't work exactly how... 
have liked it. That general's escaped there as well. Let's take those Cretan archers, they're really strong, and... I mean, we'll take the mercenary hoplites just because we're going Engage into a enemy. siege battle. Besieging settlement, sir. If they come and attack us again, siege, we'll have the same opportunity. And hopefully this time we At don't mess it up. On my way. Ah. Imperator, okay. attack! Settlement under siege, sir! Yeah. Man, I lift this. You've got 51% chance. We've got to try this. Okay. Uh, I died. But we had to try it. See whether we could open the gates. Just to get it done this turn. Uh, Serta. We have... Yeah, we have enough for this for this battle. Um, Cassius Brutus. You're not going to come and steal this, are you? Hopefully not. Alright, let's see what building we can do. Looks like we're okay for everything right now. Carolus and then Palmer's full. Yep. Ah, that's just fucking annoying. We're loving to. I'd love to get the Thermon this turn. But I think we will end this episode here, guys, and we're going to take Serta at the start of the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you do subscribe, like, and follow me on Twitch, and comment down below what your most nostalgic Total War game is, and whether you like Rome 1, the original, and whether it stacks up in 2021. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you again on the next video.